of going through Acolyte's story mode and trying to find all of the notes. <coughs> I noted last time that these, uh, there's a couple of places here that have a funny symbol that I'm not finding any um, little bird notes for. So I don't know what the deal is with those. <coughs> I've never been able to find anything that goes in that slot on all of my times through the game. But we're going to just keep moving. Um, next up is the power plant fight. And uh, there should be a note coming from that as well. <coughs> this bird here. The eyes of the whole world <coughs> were on the fair. That one, which is on the N, is the one we found on top of the building. The other stuff was in much more obvious locations. So we've got three of the orbs. Next up is the Electromancer orb. So let's go find it. <coughs> Solo story chapter. Okay, continue investigation. And we are playing on Master. I actually much prefer the drifter for the story, but... Be careful. A dark current flows through this place. This station once illuminated the entire city. Now we fight here in shadow. <clears throat> so I prefer drifter, but I decided to start from the very beginning for this recording. In the very beginning, you are an anarchist, and the other classes are not unlocked yet. So you come just one, pe one uh, teleport in, and up there you can see blue. <clears throat> we'll get there in a moment. I can hit it from here, probably. But that's kind of an awkward shot, so I'm going to get a little closer. <clears throat> that is the Electromancer Orb. And there we go. Okay. <clears throat> now there's also at least one note in this area. You suck. <clears throat> Purge the traps with a dispelling sensor. Eh, I think I'll hold on to the sensor for later. <clears throat> it appears you aren't alone. Vanquish these foes. All right, <clears throat> there's a note down here. Okay, I think that's all of the notes. <clears throat> Still got more of those annoying little things around. Okay, time for a dispel. Screw you guys. Darn it. Oh, darn it. Okay. 
Ow. <clears throat> well, this is not going my way. Let's deal with this stupid skull shooter. That's half my problem. Darn it. I did that wrong. <clears throat> Dead. <sighs> Try this again. <clears throat> Those little things are annoying. Yeah, I knew that was there, but I had to get one of them open. Ugh. Ow. And this is why the drifter's a lot nicer. That's better. Okay, no more of those stupid little imps running around? No, there aren't. Okay. And I don't see any other bird heads. I had the one note that was down there. Kind of underneath. Yeah, down there. It was underneath that thing. Mm. Now, if I wait a little bit, my embers do refill. So, it's better to be patient about fighting the um, the big guys. Okay, so I've got an airplane and two dispels. I don't know how the dispels work on this guy. Um, most of the bosses, they will... The dispels will take down their health. This guy, you got to take out the charging stations first. So... Maybe if you take the charging stations out first and then you dispel, maybe it'll work. But he's usually way up there. He's hard to hit with a dispel. <clears throat> okay, do we have any other embers coming in? We don't seem to. Okay. So this is what I've got for a loadout. Now, assemble the energy. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> I hate fighting him as AK. Anarchist is just not good for this guy. Guard, the spirit of the state mm. More of them. <laughs> oh, uh, that's not the one I was supposed to jump on. Oh, that one's got it too. That sucks. Got it, did I get hit? Oh, I'm just in time. I was more dead than I thought. Okay. Any other notes? No bird heads here. There's your tall pillar that's home. Notes over that way. And I don't see anything else that's even a hint of anything. Okay. Mm.
We may be safe for the moment, but mark my words, Bloom will keep trying. There are other effigies. Several remain. I reviewed Anton's research. It was misguided, but brilliant. He believed that the secret to controlling a wraith is sealed in a vault at the council chamber. Wait, where's Lenore? We're not alone. Leopold Bloom. Hurry! Catch that murderer! All right. I move a chair around in my room. <clears throat> that's just an overturned chair. Well, that's interesting. I've never really noticed that before. I guess it was part of that scene we just saw. All right. We got this note. The White City burned to the ground just a few weeks after the last visitor left. That summer, Chicago burned too. Old rivalries erupted into bloodshed. All of that chaos, it, it almost gave us away. Every one of us. But then people started to disappear. And it all just stopped. Do you remember the day you awoke? I do. I was four years old. It was rain. And I would just point my finger. And everything seemed possible back then. I thought I had so much more time. Do you ever think about the flow of power? It never goes in a straight line, you know? Always back and forth, here, then there. That's how I first thought of the idea of alternating current. Power must always keep moving. But real power. And that's what you want, isn't it? Real power shifts in unexpected ways. Throughout history, power has moved from one unlikely place to another. As if someone was guiding it. The same way an electric force can control the path of energy. But that force must have a source. And we architects came too close to discovering that source. I had hoped to awaken others. That was my dream. Imagine everyone at the World Fair awakening to their true powers all at once, and the name Phosphor would never be forgotten. Phosphor, the first of the Electromancers. Phosphor, the Awakener. Just promise. Promise that at least you will still remember me. All right. So we did the power station plant, picked up the Electromancer. <clears throat> I still don't know what these little missing symbols are, but we're not gonna get anything that fills them in. Um, the rest of these are numbered, so that's one. Two, three. The eyes of the whole world. That one just says, oh, that does say IV, so that is four. Uh, this one's five, all Roman numerals, six, seven, eight. And so there's eight notes um, shown so far. I don't know what, I don't know what those are, and it bugs me because they're open spots. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any need for them to be branch off points, but maybe they are just branch off points for graphic effect. I don't know. Let's go play. Yeah. Okay.
Bloom doesn't understand the ancient powers he invokes. That's creepy, dude. He'll bring the council down on us all. Up there. Hunt him down. Now we know creepy dude is Bloom. And you re remember, he's been with us all along, so we've been seeing him at the scene of everything along the way. Just kind of watching us from the building tops and floating back behind. You can expect him to conjure every demon in his cheap grimoire. Okay, there's some birds down there. Here comes the train. There he is over there. I'll come back to him later. We've got some fighting to do. I hate hitting, doing this guy as AK without any, without any embers. The shield is not what you need. You need to hit this guy hard and take it, take out his shield. Otherwise, you spend a long time dinking him on the head and not getting anywhere. Ow. That sucked. Shit, that one. See his health, his um, shield keeps recovering. We can't get anywhere. If you can keep your embers and not need to use them for a shield, those guys are a lot easier to take out. <clears throat> All right. No notes here. I've studied this area pretty thoroughly before. There's just nothing to find. Mm. There is usually. Let's see if we can find a healing orb or anything like that. Yeah, maybe not. Not here. Mm. Okay, next battle. This guy at least I can hit. Okay, no more skulls. Ow. Artifacts are slow. Deadly though. Okay, incoming train. Frenchy. Okay. This indiscretion will not go unpunished. Stop him. All right. Now I can pause a moment to take a look around. So my health is not terrible. Got one ember. That's a nice pickup. I'm not seeing any notes anywhere unusual. Hmm. 
There's one. Okay, so you're standing on top of the crunch train just before you go up on the buildings with the lounge. Gotcha. There's Bloom. And birdies. <sighs> Trick with those is little fireballs, the smallest you can throw. Okay, I got an ember. They do use the embers to show you where they want you to move to. So that's definitely a, ga a game mechanic. Yeah, that's why you're waiting for me to chase you, right? Because I'll never find you. That's why you have to keep showing back up. Okay. I don't remember any um, artifact containers here, so we'll just keep moving. Yeah, beautiful view down. Okay. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, good. Okay. Got him. And that's where a quick shield is really useful. It might not get every bird, but it gets most of them. I still got half my health. And I picked up an airplane. Yay! Okay. No notes anywhere. Nope. Up we go. Whew. This is another one of those dizzying locations. Not seeing any bird heads anywhere. Or any artifact orbs. Nice one. Look at that, it's coming right over here. I get a spear. That's nice. There's a note. All right. So, there's the city and the helicopter. It came from over there and came on up. And it's right here in the middle. So it'd be up there somewhere as you're coming into this little fire pit fight. <sighs> These blue demons are the more annoying ones, honestly. That three, three shots fired at me when there's two of them gets to be irritating. Okay. There's Bloom. Any more notes? Not so far. Okay, so I'm at about half health, coming into an area where I'm going to do another tough battle with the crow guy. Uh, that's going to be 
challenging. So we're going to battle the crow guy over here, and then the sisters over there. And I really hope I can find some healing canisters along the way, because I'm going to need it. This fight's rough. More of those little idiots. Looks like I got him. A little cleaner fight than I was expecting. I guess the skull helped a lot. All right. Let's see. I don't know where any notes are in this area. One healing canister, which helped me survive that fight. Do I have any more notes over here? There's one, way up there. You don't need to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, where's my healer? It's right around here. There it is. Okay. That should be enough for sisters. Okay. I think the you don't need to be here is actually very literal. That There aren't really any notes or anything to look for through here. Um, take one look back this way just to make sure we've got the other view of the area. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Helicopter around here somewhere. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. It's funny how a lot of the buildings are unmarked, and then every now and then they have a little bit down at street level. Okay, so sisters are over there. They're an interesting fight. Um, there are times where only one of them is able to be hit to take damage. The others are ghosts, but even the ghosts will shoot you and do real damage to you. So it's kind of an interesting fight. <sighs> yes, they do actually expect you to go up there. It's kind of a cool view, actually. It's not the sort of thing you ever get to do in real life. <sighs> okay, so I'm standing on a pallet on the top of a building. Way the heck up here. He's at the council chamber. We have to stop him. You can jump over immediately. Or you can take a look around, which will crank your adrenaline up just a little bit ahead of the sister's fight. Uh. All right, I got one ember. I'm going to get a lot more embers in this fight. Uh, it's pretty generous with them. Are there any more artifacts floating around? I don't think so. Okay, so I've got one spear at the moment. Um, I usually have a set of airplanes when I make it to Sisters, so maybe it was just that I didn't use them in the prayer fight sometimes. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, there they are. The Council Guard. Stay nimble. The Sisters are unforgiving. Already picked up another Ember. And here we go. It's 
kind of easier if you get on an end because you can shield two of them and shoot the third. Mm. Oh, I did the wrong moment. There's the one that's not a ghost. Getting close. Mm, I hate this mode. Excellent. You've defeated the sisters. Follow Bloom into the council chamber. Whew. I have noticed that if you get low health in one of these battles, lower than it should be, a green healing orb will pop up if you can manage to get to it in time. <clears throat> um, that could be difficult, because if your health is that low, you're probably already struggling. Uh, but it does seem to be triggered in the game by you having low health, is that it will generate another healing thing. Okay, is there a note here anywhere? Oh, pretty flowers in the tree. No note over here. We picked up a good number of them already so far. He's slipping away. Bye. Let's search the chamber and discover his purpose. This is a fascinating entry door. And that's a lot of council statues down there. The council chamber. I never thought I'd see it, even through the veil. Alright. No obvious notes here. Nothing I can point at. Oh my goodness. Just spam calls. No idea my phone was set that loud. Okay. That'll break your immersion real quick. <laughs> this guy's interesting. I want to know the story behind this guy. You pick him up, there's nothing there, there's no markings or anything. She just yells at you not to touch it. Don't. Don't touch that. That's it. That's all the interaction is. You can pick it up and look at it. It doesn't seem to have any real impact on the game. So I want to know, what's his story? What's the secret behind that guy? Okay. Come over here. There's nothing more to do until we what jump down there. Are hidden here? If the council finds us, we're doomed. The council yeah, yeah. hoards every enchantment for themselves. Pretty. Pretty little snakes. Okay. Yeah, I have thoroughly searched all these books, book areas and such before and never found any secrets. 
Mm. I've spent a lifetime learning how to hide from their games. This one's just about the Illuminati, Illuminati eye. And this area is just kind of pretty. Sword. Some pictures of some dudes. I wonder if those are developers. It'd be kind of a cool place to do a cameo. There's a note. And just before you come into the rhinos, it's right there. Okay. The White City. It was our greatest achievement. All of our magic on display. We hid in plain sight, behind the wonders of the age. Surely Blue doesn't know. Surely he does. That dude's informed. And there's an orb. That would be our TK orb over here in front of the rhinos. The serpent bound to Jackson Park. There's nothing over there. That note would have been right over there. There's a little folded up bird. For Radiant. I know what's missing here. It's an artifact called the Prismatic Orb. Anton speculated that it commands the rates. Bloom doesn't know what he holds. Yes, he does. Quickly, we'll find him at the gateway to the White City. Okay. Let's go. Jackson Park sits atop all that remains of the White City. We must reach Bloom before he finishes his incantations. Kill him. Avenge my acolytes and extinguish the fire before it starts. Est solum istestusque ad coyum itad inferos. I see a note right there. I won't be able to get to it yet. I don't think. Silence blue and retrieve the prismatic orb. It's just outside my range. Got it. Kind of a downward stroke. Yep, there's the note. So it's on the very first pedestal when you first come into the level. It's right there. Although you're probably going to hit it better from that one. You again. It'll be over there. I suppose that astral witch sent you here. She's about to lose another acolyte. Eh, I don't think so. Ow. Ow. That sucked.
One trick with these battles is to not try to do too much at once. Got a dispel. Oh, I don't need it yet. I can deal with those guys. Half health, going into the snakes. Okay, I'm not making a downtown balloon yet. <laughs> I don't know about calling it. Gotcha. Bye bye. And if you still needed to pick up the note, it'd be right over here. Okay. Good game. I see you've learned a thing or two about Ember management. Here, take this. I know it's what Phaedra wants. You could see the tentacle going into it. Just leave me alone. That was cool. Kind of dark. Very Some brief of us moment. Want to see Chicago rise again? But I guess for Phaedra, it's still all about the duel. Yeah, so, as you'll see in a moment, this thing is cursed. And for the first time, I just noticed him putting the curse into it as he got ready to hand it to me. So, I like the fire pits that the snakes come out of. Although, if you throw a dispel down there, it won't hit anything and it won't trigger the dispel. So, don't lose your dispel down there. It sucks. <sighs>
You've done it. Most of it, at least. I don't think you managed to kill that charlatan. Still, it's good to have this. Good. No. See? Tendrils. Help me. Bye. Okay, so we've added one, two, three, four new notes and the snakes. We still have one more note, number 10, still coming, and the final orb, the sixth architect. So let's go through the notes. The strange thing is I can't find a record of the council's formation. It's like it wasn't there and then it was. What I do know is that after the fire, the council invoked a covenant, a very old code of conduct. From that point forward, using magic was punishable by death. Spellcasters went into hiding. They created the arenas in pocket dimensions across the city, and they created the duel to keep their skills sharp. Smart magicians stayed out of sight. Reckless ones found themselves dispersed in the void. That reminds me. I need to renew my life insurance policy. I think he's getting nervous. Mm -hmm. There's a vault at the council chamber. No one I know is allowed to access it. I'm convinced that the secret of the wraiths is locked inside. It has to be. Something keeps their spirits sealed away. Who else has that kind of power? Evelyn is demanding results. A way to control the wraiths herself. She thinks that's her ticket to ascension in the duel, and I can't argue. She's funding my research. I need to get in there, somehow, but I have to hurry. I'm starting to feel like I'm being watched. Like maybe Bloom is around? Yeah, that's not surprising when he is. I finished translating a ritual. It was written in cuneiform, pre-Mesopotamian stuff. If I perform it, all hell will break loose. That seems like a good way to distract the council while I break into the vault. Seems plausible. It worked. The council found me right away, but it took them hours to clean up the mess. I unsealed the vault while their defenses were down, and there it was. Right there in the record. The Reaper in Pulaski Circle, the Beast at Burnham Station, all the rest. The Wraiths are death curses, brought into this world to kill the Architects. And the Wraiths are controllable. There's an orb for each one. It'd be so easy to crush you right now. But you have something I need. Answers. One of the architects betrayed us all. Who was it? You must have figured it out by now. Well? Unbelievable. If I could have just one more day, I'd flatten a lot of them. Worthless ingrates with their pissant parlor gimmickry. You know who built the White City? Boilerplate. That's who. Who else is gonna stack 10,000 tons of stone on a shifting foundation in a single week? This whole city should have been impossible. But the rest of these morons were too dumb to even know it was impossible. And then, they didn't even have the basic common decency to be in awe when I pulled it off. That's what burns me up. Not the betrayal. Not even the killing me part. I just wish they had the brains to know their betters when they meet them. Now go. And when you do find the one who betrayed us, you know what you have to do. Okay, so what's left is the final battle. We'll get one orb and one note. And... A trophy. Your engines are no here. This is our domain.
Beautiful location. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where the note and the orb are in this one, so I'm just going to keep moving. You can't actually... I don't know, it's beautiful here. If you like creepy. Until you can shoot, you can't find anything anyway, so it doesn't make sense to try to uh, search the rest of this. She deceived us, avoiding judgment for a hundred years, but now her time's at hand. Hey, dude. Yeah, I don't like you either. There's more room up there. Yeah. There's the note. Our most but I'm don't I'm not active to shoot at it yet. Um, but so it's on the pillar in front of the orb. Um, once it activates, I'll be able to teleport up that way, and we'll also be able to see the orb, the uh, sixth architect orb from there. And now your time is attacked. Right there. Maybe, maybe not. Depends how well I can concentrate. Drift her so much easier. You just throw mines under her. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that scream attack. Shield one, teleport the other. And it just takes a while. She's not hard to fight, she's just slow to fight. You can teleport most of her attacks. Okay. Got the note. in the herd a little. Skull thing is really irritating. Those are actually suggestions for how to beat her. 
take your time. Strengthen yourself with your embers. Let your shields repair. Take your time. Don't rush it. That also gives you time for more of the orbs to appear. Or the, um, the, the health containers. Just don't get hit by our scream attack. That one sucks. I got some decent. You have broken the covenant. Darn it. Scream attack. There we go. Now her shield will heal just like mine will. She must have taken the number. Got her. And just ahead of the uh, cars style attack. <coughs> okay. Now oh, she explodes everywhere. It's not quite impressive the first time that you see it, truly. So this is the most useful pedestal for getting stuff, because you'll get your note there and your Electromancer, or your Six I'm Architect sorry. Orb up here. That wasn't me. Come closer to me, quickly. Sure, now that I know you're not, you know, twisted and cursed anymore. I don't know. I kind of see a hole over there. You want to go that way? Oh, okay. What if I don't? What if I just wait? Oh. There you go. You bought us a second. Quickly, through the portal. Okay, let's go. Uh... Oh, the chair's back up. I'm sorry. I was overcome. Bloom is a skilled enchanter. A master of the curse. He wanted to unveil me, reveal me to the council. And now it's back into hiding after all. Anton and Evelyn were my best acolytes. But now that may be you. You'll need a servant such as he is. All there is now is to return to the arena while your skills are sharp. And lose yourself in the fight. Or lose in the, the fight. You'll do a lot of that too. True path to ascendance. That it is. I'm reaching out with my astral form. Eventually, I'll find Blue. And his day of judgment will come. Until then, I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Stay to the shadows. And good luck. We move to the credits. Okay, let's go 
get back to the apartment and check out the last of the artifacts. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I've found the sixth architect. I suppose it should have been obvious. She's been scheming all along, hiding, recruiting promising acolytes from the margins and training them up to join her cause. That's how she found me. Phaedra is radiant, the last architect. I can't let her know that I'm onto her. If she can transmogrify a raven, I don't want to know what she'll turn me into. I'm staying home. It's time for me to lay low for a while. Yeah, too bad Leopold Bloom had already found you and was on your tra trail. You're dead now. So now you know my secret. Yes, I too was one of the architects. And no, I did not betray them. They called me Radiant, the mother of prismatic magic. It was I who gave the gleaming white city its brilliance, making it shine like jewels in the afternoon sun. I transformed those cheap plaster structures into a dazzling alabaster palace unlike anything the world had seen. And in the arena there was no one who could match me. Not brimstone, not gaslight, not even boilerplate, try as you might. But no, I did not betray them. I knew someone was hunting us. I saw the signs foretelling the fates of the others. But each time, I was too late to stop it. And when I saw my own death coming, I was ready. Even so, I barely survived the battle. All these years, That's I the have symbol. never known who cast the, the ones that are missing. Upon us, but I've never stopped searching. It's that same or symbol. Stopped honing my One, two, three, four of them. And they've never stopped seeking me, either. But despite all my efforts, it appears you are the one who has discovered the truth. You were always the most promising of my acolytes, but I could not have imagined you would come so far or so fast. Your path forward is yours alone. You have my blessings. Bye. Goodbye. All right. I don't feel like going and playing with all the skins, which is the usual uh, extra over here. Now, we're still missing our trophy for up there, so let's go take a look over here. What's this? Season 1 complete, Season 2 has begun, and in fact Season 2 is forever ongoing. Yeah, I don't play anything at 11 p.m. local time. I sleep then. Um, but there is a community Discord, and that is still active. There are definitely people there to chat with, including me. And we actually now play every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Central. Uh, with Currently, we're in between Daylight Saving Switch, so it's about 6 p.m. GMT. But that will shift as we hit summer, and they do their uh, daylight savings time as well. Um, but anyway, check in on the Discord if you want to come play with us on Saturday. We can help you figure out what time it is in your local time. There are definitely people to play with. And the duel is how you learn much more advanced techniques than you will ever use against the AI. Now, I don't know where my treasure is. Normally there's a uh, statue of Bloom that sits up here when you complete this thing. Um, but somehow I missed that. I don't know exactly how I did that. Um, so we'll come on over here. There's me, Pathmaker Jen. Currently rank 50. It, it bounces around a lot. Um, but we've got a lot of folks still playing on Saturdays and folks come in and out. So come meet us in, in Duel. And turn on your voice chat so we can hear you and you can hear us and we can give you tips when you're just getting started. So that's all I've got for this one. See you later. Oh my god.
got it for that. 